Hey everyone, it's Dave. Uh, so we all kind of should know what's been going on. If you did miss it, I'm going to try to clue you in. If you're a little lost, I'm going to try to see if I can fix some of that up. Uh, I do work night shifts, so I apologize now. I've been awake for about 14 hours. I still have to go to school, so I figured, hey, why not make this real quick? So, who's this guy? Windstorm, the legend of Kimori. These people posted that they're making a game that's about to be released. This is kind of what started this whole fire. So this led to this guy, Chris Dostoevsky, to comment on X claiming that woke studios use pre-built engines because they cannot build their own. This led to a little back and forth between a few people, uh, Sardes, games are woke. It makes sense, doesn't it? Woke studios always use pre-built engines to make games because they can't build their own game engines. Um, I kind of think just game studios would do that anyway. So this led to Nat. Now this person is the community and communications manager basically for Godot Engine. So she's part of the team. She's officially a part of the team. Then she goes, a little tongue-in-cheek, which kind of sound, started off innocent, because apparently game engines are woke now. Well then, we won't complain, gay pride for lead. Show us your woke coat of making, like a joke off the name, games below. And I'm assuming they th thought that this would lead to a bunch of people going, oh, here's our games, inclusion. But it kind of turned into tons of people just like hey you know let's not start politics let's stay out of it and obviously people took sides so there's the sides and i'm gonna draw my crappy little picture here so the sides are basically there's the woke we support minorities that's gonna go aside and this is something we're gonna talk about this in a minute and the middle side is the centrists. These are the people, hey, I just want to make a game. And then there's the anti-woke, the chuds. These are the guys who the woke people think are bigots, and these people are actual hate groups. So they hate these people because they support hate groups. And a lot of these people believe that the middle people, the people are like, I don't care, just I want to make a game that all these people, any anyone who does not support the woke, means you're a part of this group because you are helping protect bigots. And we'll get into that in a little bit more. Once this, so basically people started posting their opinions which did not line up with this, and this person on Twitter went on a ban hammer and just started banning people. This person, the Xanax, he, let's zoom in here, sorry. He, on his Discord, this is an unofficial Discord server, which is advertised on the official Godot webpage. So basically he goes into how you're all wrong and you're evil. It's not drama that started by Godot. This is drama started by the Chuds. Basically, you have no right of speech here because I consider your speech to be toxic vomit. If you think inviting queer people to share their games is politics, you're a toxic piece of F, an evil human. I want you to feel disrespected and F off as fast as you can. So this, he's drawn a big old line in the sand. And internet being internet, they went and basically found all of his posts where he's dropping in bombs. So he's literally doing the things these people do, <laughs> but he's this. So that's where a lot of people are like, hey, why are we why are their sides developing and a lot of the anti woke crowd is basically we don't want this stuff because it always leads to this you know it's in what these people kind of do it to begin with it's like hey you know we're trying to do the right thing that's the semi trailer that's always pulling the trailer of fighting and vitriol that always happens it's happened in multiple game companies uh, the biz biggest example that everyone should have seen and know of is the Disney. They went through it. Their people, the directors, they are all oh, that's the community. It's the the people. It's their fault. It's not our fault. We didn't start this drama. It's them, them, them. Even though we are making songs and stuff. All right. So that's how the sides work. And so this guy, not technically a part of Godot, but they 
kind of support them, so whatever. All right, back on track. So, sorry, I can't pronounce his name right. Ron Linetsky. He's basically, if Godot has a dad, he's the dad. He started the project. He was the creator of Godot. His line so far is, I deeply believe that any politic, political discussion that puts labels to a group of people is one that should not have started. As most of the people in this planet, no matter the political compass, seems to strongly disagree with me, I just prefer to stay entirely out of politics. And this is basically what a lot of people, this is their belief, I believe. I don't, I don't like talking politics because I'm old, I'm 43, and I pretty much know Unless you're talking to someone who has the same views as you, it views as you, it usually turns into a disagreement argument during the whole campaign lately with Trump. I mean, we saw on the news people, families were splitting up, friends losing friends. Politics causes drama right nowadays. It always, it just does. So this is the main guy, and basically on Twitter he shut his account down, or were you on private? I forget how the correct term there, but he's like, I'm out. Basically, then we have the people who are. People are commenting, I deeply believe that he costs, quotes him, blocked. Uh, another person who's basically saying, hey, can you fix this? And he gets blocked. Comments are hidden. All these, everyone's just getting blocked and commented. So eventually, and this is like lots of people, if you find the original thread, there's just, they were busy blocking and banning people. It was like, they took their time and took a lot of it to get to this point. So eventually... This is kind of, and the reason I'm making this video is because I just posted a video on what is Godot, and I put this big old review on Steam. And during the same time, there's a fire happening. I never thought this would happen with Godot because I just didn't think it would happen. So eventually, Godot makes their statement. On Friday, we made a tweet that unexpectedly led to a wave of harassment directed at our staff and community. We unequivocally condemn this abuse. Yes, don't go abusing people, don't harass people, all sides. Don't do it. The volume of negative engagement overwhelmed our moderation efforts while attempting to protect the Godot community. We mistakenly blocked individuals who were not participating in the harassment. The Godot Foundation Board takes full responsibilities for these moderation actions. If you believe you were blocked in error and have not violated the code of conduct, please contact us with a form linked below. We are committed to swiftly rectifying any mistakes. We firmly stand by our mission to keep our community spaces free from hate discrimination and other toxic behavior okay so firstly they a lot of people are disagreeing not disagreeing but calling out like basically your moderating team doesn't seem that they mistakenly block people it is they took anyone who disagreed with their views and they got blocked it doesn't look like an accident uh, and a lot of people are upset that in this form, they want your email address. And a lot of people are like, you don't, why do you need my email address? It's a Twitter name. All you need is my Twitter name. So there's, this kind of did not solve any problem. It kind of made it a little bit worse. So then Xanax, that's, you remember from the top, he's the Discord guy. We strongly condemn the harmful language used by Xanax, moderator of an unofficial Godot-related Discord server. We want to clarify that Zeninex is not hired by nor a spokesperson for the Godot Foundation. As an organization, we have our own Discord server, moderated together with new volunteers vetted by our team. And a lot of people were quick to point out that that Discord server is on the Godot webpage, so they do kind of aim to it. So it's you can't say it has nothing to do with us, but it kind of does. So then people start pointing out that people are getting blocked on GitHub. And this is kind of where I left off with the news. Everyone's getting blocked. People on GitHub are getting blocked. Their response was, Ooh. and a lot of people are like, hey, you know, we don't have a side. It's a game engine, not woke, not anti-woke. We just want to make games, which is kind of the problem because those Few people who are the loudest, unfortunately, are the people who are in charge or working at Godot. Uh, so this kind of led me to, like, what is a chud? So I started searching on Reddit with what is a chud. So this led me to this group of people. And I was like, oh, yeah, some of my family, that's bad. But here, there's a lot of game engine should be apolitical, which is everyone, us, the majority of people, I would say, is... We don't want politics. <laughs> Keep it up. 
While there is an argument that the engine itself may be that, the community and code of conduct states otherwise. They have a responsibility to ensure a safe environment and community of game developers and engine contributors. True. This is true. So the software itself may not be political, but the community has a responsibility to be so far as long as marginalized people or polit politicized ugh, and marginalized. Wait, what? So it's their duty to protect marginalized people. And then they kind of, this whole thread goes back and forth about how chuds are bad and they're the safe they're the only people who care about other people if you want me to link that just leave a comment i will but so basically it's back and forth. it goes off topic here and there but basically it kind of goes i realize the reason why most of these chuds exist isn't because they understand and don't care it's because they truly aren't intelligent enough to ask questions because they don't understand a thing the people we really need to worry about are the people who understand fully and still don't care. And then the werewolf here. As a game dev, while I do think the content manager may have gone a bit too ban happy, a chunk of the banned Twitter users were just please no politics centrists, who while I do hate for helping protect bigots, are not going to understand what they did wrong. I'm really glad Godot has taken this stance. That the community has no place for anti-woke chuds. And how are people surprised that free and open source software developers are left-leaning? L-M-A-O. And then, Adam, I just like this. I'm just like, wait a minute, hate centrist? You literally hate? This is what leads to violence. Kind of true. So then, what does the code of conduct say? I'm not going to read the entire thing. But basically, it's open community for all the community. Kind of what it says in short. Uh, duh, 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 duh. You have a right. Feedback is always welcome. But keep it constructive, which is what a lot of people are doing. Saying, hey, stick to this. Don't do that. Feedback. And they're not being like overtly disrespectful. Getting banned. Uh, this is the Godot project is committed to providing a friendly and safe environment for everybody, regardless of level experience, gender identity, and expression, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size or race, ethnicity, language, proficiency, age, political orientation, nationality, religion, or other similar characteristics. We do not tolerate harassment or discrimination of participants in any form. This is what a lot of those people on the left have read. And this is they have to protect everybody. Well, minorities, not everybody. And then offensive aggressive behavior, not acceptable, which is what that one guy was doing. You will be excluded from participating in the community if you insult, demean, harass, intentionally make others uncomfortable by any means, or participate in any other hateful conduct, either publicly or privately. So that's the code of conduct. Nowhere does it say you have to support a group. It literally says not to support a group. But at the same time, everybody is welcome. What it doesn't say is you shouldn't talk about it. And somewhere it got interpreted by a lot of the left people that it is their birthright to save people who may or may not make games. Uh, Alright, that's where we're at now. Sorry if I'm tired. My voice is almost gone. Uh, if you like this, I probably won't make a lot of videos like this, but... If you're interested in game engines and topics about what different game engines are, I'll be making all kinds of videos on different game engines and what they are. If you like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, skip something, put it in the comments. Don't get all fighting down there, because I'll lock it up. Adios, everybody.